Hi guys, I'm Ritu. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating this super glam festive makeup look for Diwali. If you want to look like a fataka this Diwali, then please follow along this tutorial. Uh, I've already done my skin prep, but even then I'm going in with a little bit of eye cream to prep my under eyes and really let uh, the eye cream soak in so that when I put my concealer, it doesn't uh, crease, make it crease because it's not set. But here in this case, it backfired because I had a bit of fallout and I had to remove it. Now I'm going in with the concealer to carve out my brows. Uh, for a super glam makeup look, uh, carved out brows look really, really uh, refined and like gives your makeup a cleaner look I prefer using the NARS soft matte concealer for this because it's a very it's almost no it's a very dry concealer so it uh, it looks really nice and it doesn't uh, like disturb my base later on and also this gives you a cleaner look in your eyebrows if you are not able to reach uh, like apply foundation evenly there Moving on to eye primer, I'm using the Rare Beauty eye primer. Uh, I like to apply eye primer on one eye at a time and then like finish to the one eye and then move on to the other eye because uh, I've noticed that even uh, like if I apply the eye primer on both the eyes together, it um, makes my eye look crease or like it doesn't like the shadow doesn't perform as great uh, on the eye primer as it does when it's applied freshly and now you'll see that I uh, after applying my eye primer I'm going to conceal my inner corner this is a important step if you are doing a glam makeup because after you applied your eyeshadow you cannot like put concealer in that crook of your like eye and nose and it's going to stand out and give your makeup a dark look give your eyes a darker look you can clearly see the difference here today i'm going to be using the cosmic brushes muse palette this is a really great palette they have a really amazing matte formula although it's not available in india if you can like buy it from a instagram store the prices are really good so i'm going in with the neutral brown in my crease and buffing that out in my crease slightly building that up Then I'm going in with the olive shade on my inner and outer corner of my eyes. I'm firstly just packing it on with a small brush and like opening my eye and seeing where I've placed that uh, olive. Opening your eyes and looking straight into the mirror really helps you figure out your eyeshadow placement. So it's a highly recommended step. Then I'm just going to uh, build that up and slightly feather it out. I don't want to make it too big. I don't want to uh, elongate my eye. I just want a round shape with this halo eye. And I'm taking that olive slightly in my crease. So it's going to mix with that brown and actually darken my crease even more. Then I'm going in with the light green color, this shade called Water Lily. I'm picking that up on a brush and uh, I'm trying to feather out the edges of that olive green. So it looks like uh, you have a seamless transition from light to dark. The thing about eyeshadow is that if you pick up very less and like build it over time, it's going to give you a much cleaner and well blended look rather than like uh, packing it on. I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette fig and putting that on the inner corner and the outer corner in a very like a, in a very contained manner I'm not going to spread it out too much so my eye will go from dark darkest dark and lightest the depth to the eye look and it'll look really uh, flawless and that brown mix really well with the olive after you build this then you can go out and blend out all the edges and like fix your shape if you want to
I couldn't decide between the shimmers so I went with the Kaleidos makeup palette uh, escape pot palette and used the shade satin earlier it's a really really flaky glittery shimmer then I smoked out my eyeliner with a black eye pencil uh, just to add a bit of depth out uh, at the lash line and uh, that I have something to cover my lash band with later on now I'm removing the fallout from the shimmer so my initial prep work was kind of a waste so I'm reapplying moisturizer then I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Eye Primer because I'm going to be using a matte foundation so I wanted uh, my pores to be slightly diffused but honestly recently my pores are looking like really huge and like nothing can fix it but again I really like the foundation because uh, even though the pores were emphasized but uh, the look was very flawless like if you have pores pores are going to stay there's there's nothing you can do so just prep in a way that suits you best so i used the matte uh, sorry nars soft matte foundation uh, nars recently launched in india so if you're looking to check them out please do i mix uh, i got the foundation soft matte foundation in the shade santa fe and i mixed it with my light reflecting in stombly i used two pumps of stombly and one of santa fe and even then somehow like the full coverage foundation is so powerful that it really lightened my foundation and like it doesn't match my neck to be honest it looked real it looked much better in uh natural lighting than this but yeah it's not my shade and i wish i would have uh, like gone slightly darker with the foundation because like if you can pull it off good but uh, it was really standing out like the lightness was standing out but i love this base it stayed put so long i'm oily and this foundation did not dis like the foundation stayed on so well i was truly shocked i am going to get it in my shade then i'm going in with the soft matte concealer and firstly uh, cleaning the under eyes like cleaning the outer edges of the eyeshadow and concealing the darkest area of my under eyes then i'm going to go in with the lighter concealer add a little bit more coverage to uh, give uh, the under eyes a brighter look I apply my contour first after concealer so that I have a clear idea where to place the contour. I'm just using my favorite M Cosmetics So Soft. And since I went very light with the foundation, I'm going to be uh, a little bit heavy-handed with my contour and bronzer. Since this is a Diwali makeup, you want it to last the entire night, so I'm going to uh, put my setting spray in between the steps i do for the base makeup so that my makeup is going to last so i set my like i applied my cream products and then i uh, used the setting spray and that now i'm going in with the powder uh, then this nyx powder is really really nice at mattifying and blurring out your pores i just didn't like it under my under eyes because uh, the shade medium darkened my under eyes a bit so if you are uh, like my skin tone uh, use it for your face but don't use it for your eyes then i'm uh, filling in my brows then i'm uh, completing the lower lash line part of the eye look uh, since it's a halo eye i'm doing i'm like repeating the same steps as i did on the uh, eyelid i'm going to have the darkness uh, like the darkest uh, shadow around the inner corner and the outer corner and then i'm going to place a green in between so that it stands out and matches the upper eyelid uh, i've also mentioned all the brushes and everything that i've used I'm going in with the powder bronzer. I really like this airbrush flawless uh, airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's really nice and buildable and it doesn't like make you look orange or anything. I also finally got the Dior blush in the shade uh, 
in the shade rosewood and it's so much better uh, like i really like the shade uh, pink uh, pink also but the rosewood is really nice it takes it's like a watercolor blush it takes some time to build but oh my god when it does build it's really really it it does really really show up so please be light handed don't think that it's not showing up and keep building it on because then you will have clown cheeks going in again with the setting spray and then adding a inner corner highlight I use these beautylicious lashes this time. The lashes looked really good but the quality of the lashes was terrible. Uh when I was trying to remove them from the packet, uh they broke off a lot. And then I applied a brown lip liner and a brown lipstick which is my favorite combo with green. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this glam kind of a Diwali makeup look and hope you guys have a great Diwali. Uh, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I will see you again later.